So guys, 3D touch along with iPhone 10 like features make my device a really good device. Everything, I mean everything which you can expect from iPhone 10 software wise to your non iPhone 10 devices. If you want to switch apps, you just need to do this and your apps will be switching. So hey what's up guys, Harshan and back with another video. So guys in this video, I'm going to show you a tweak that allows you to have iPhone 10 like feature on older devices. So guys, as you can see, swipe up to unlock slide to switch app and swipe up from the corner to get the notification bar because with this trick you can do a lot of crazy stuff with your mobile and guys trust me these things are very stable and your mobile will not crash or hang due to these apps so guys i am using this tweak for like two days so guys this was the first week that i installed on my mobile after jailbreaking my mobile and if you haven't seen the jailbreak video of the links in the description and they might be flashing right over here or you can check the icon menu right over here so guys let's just quickly get started with this tutorial so guys if you have these tweaks on your ios device then you might not use the home button so guys from the past few days i'm not using my home button i'm just using this to swipe up this to remove go to the app switcher and i'm using this gesture to go to the home screen as you can see so guys i have reduced the usage of my home button and this might increase the lifetime of my home button as well so guys now i am completely relied on this thing and now if i go back to my non jailbroken device i think i will have trouble using that device because of the because of everything now your phone is like iphone 10 and you need to swipe up from here to revisit the control center and from here you have the option to switch apps so in earlier devices and non jailbroken devices from here you get the control center so i think i won't be able to use a jail non jailbroken device now i mean it will take time for me to get used to that device so guys just take a look at how cool is this thing if you want to switch apps you just need to do this and your apps will be switching on the other hand if you are an older device then you need to click on double click this and you need to search for the app but with this you can easily do this so guys to go on to the home screen you just have to swipe up and let me just quickly show you on the lock screen so guys as you can see here you have so here you have these two 3d touch enable icons so if you want to 3d touch your add 3d touch function to your device you need to download a tweak called peekaboo so guys as you can see now i have 3d touch on my device as well so guys 3d touch along with iphone 10 like features make my device a really good device so guys as you can see to go on to the app switcher you just need to swipe up from the bottom and just hold here and then you can easily swipe in easy, you can easily select from the apps and guys to remove these apps you don't need to swipe up if you swipe up then you'll go onto the home screen you just go into your task manager and just press and press and hold one icon or tile whatever you call whatever you want to call it and then you can remove these apps by clicking on this minus icon right over here so guys let me know in the comments down below if you like this tweak or not so guys this tweak adds everything i mean everything which you can expect from iphone 10 software wise to your non iphone 10 devices or to your older devices so okay, now let me just quickly talk about the control center and the control center is opening from right over here so okay, it might take some time for you to get used to this thing so okay, i think that this thing this thing is performing flawlessly on my iphone se so okay, i don't know about the older devices like the iphone 6 and the iphone 5s because i haven't tested them on the iphone 6 and iphone 5s yet so let me know in the comments down below if you have an iphone 5 and iphone 6 and if it is working on them or so obviously it will work on iPhone 6s and the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8. So alright guys, before beginning you need to have three apps. One is the Zip App Free. I have the links in the description for all the apps. So the Zip App Free is available for free on the Play Store. Next is the Filza app. You need to go to Cydia and just search for Filza and it is available for free on the Cydia store as well. So I'll just type, let me just quickly show you. I'll just type in here Filza and as you can see Filza Files Manager was on the first. Here you go, here is the Filza app and then you need to head over to this link i have the links in the description for this one as well so you need to download fluid enabler you'll, oh, you'll just click right over here and you'll just click on direct download after direct downloading this will go into your uh, zip app zip app and you'll just click here on open in zip app free so now this will open up in your zip app free all right guys so here is your zip app and you'll just swipe to the home or oh, sorry you just press the home button so next you need to go to your filza app and you just need to click on right over here this is a, a small star right over here you just click on apps manager and you just click on activate and done so guys here is the app manager you need to find uh, zip app free here it is zip app free next you need to click on documents after documents imported files fluid enabler usr lib sb inject and you need to copy these two files so you just click here on edit and you'll just select both of these files you'll click on copy and now you need to go all the way back so guys i saw this thing on eap's channel i hope you are familiar with it or oh, obviously you are you must be familiar with his channel so all right guys after going all the way back you need to click on usr then you need to click on lib tweak inject so guys in some cases this folder might not be present in your uh, phone so this is the tweak inject so you need so you need to inject this on a folder which has a name inject i mean 
something inject like in my case it's tweak inject in your case it might be sb inject inject or something like that so you click on tweak inject fluid enabler usr lib sb inject and you need and you'll just paste these two files right over here so i already have it so i already have it so i'll just skip so guys now you need to respring your device so guys, I forgot to tell you this thing that now Siri does not come up with this home button by pressing the home button. So guys, now to get Siri, you need to press this home button. So wait, let me just show you. There you go. So guys, Siri does not work from this home button anymore if you have installed this tweak. And guys, the screenshot part, you need to press this button and the uh, volume up button to get to take screenshots. So there you go. So guys, you need to press these two buttons to take screenshots and this thing not works perfectly. There you go. So let me just try it. Nope, this time it's not working. Again, it's not working. So you might have trouble taking screenshots. So that's why I've added a screenshot button on my assistive touch. So guys, this makes my device way much more better than it was before. So see you guys, I think that stuff was pretty much it for this video. And if you guys have made it till the end, drop a like to this video and let me know in the comments below if you like this tweak or not. This is super stable and this is super amazing. This brings the entire experience of an iPhone 10 to your earlier devices. So guys, let me know in the comments down below that if you like the video, didn't like the video, if you like the tweet or didn't like the tweet. So guys, I think that stuff was pretty much it for this video. I'll see you soon. Till then, peace.